What is the strongest evidence from biochemistry for a creator? When people discover that I'm a Christian, that I'm a biochemist, and that it was the elegant design of biochemical systems that convinced me a creator must exist, they oftentimes are curious, what do I think is the strongest scientific evidence from biochemistry for a creator? Well, that's actually a pretty hard question to answer because there are so many different features of the cell's chemical systems that independently point to the handiwork of a creator. But if I had to choose, it would be the elegant design of the genetic code. Now, let me give you just a little bit of background. The genetic code is a set of rules that the cell's machinery uses to translate information in DNA into information found in proteins. The language of DNA is based on nucleotide sequences, and the language of proteins is based on amino acid sequences. But they are two different biochemical languages, and in order for that information to flow from DNA into proteins, there has to be a set of rules, a code that translates that information. And it turns out that biochemists have discovered that the rules that make up the genetic code are exquisitely optimized. In fact, the code is so optimized that it is really one of a kind. And the optimization is a multi-dimensional optimization. So much so that it's hard for uh, anybody to conceive how evolutionary processes could generate the elegant design of the genetic code. Let me give you some numbers to help make my point. Scientists estimate that there are about 10 to the 80 genetic codes that could have possibly existed and that the genetic code in nature is one of those 10 to the 80 possible codes. And remember, the genetic code in nature is unique. It's one of a kind. It's exquisitely optimized. Now, how hard would it be to discover the genetic code that we see in nature? Well, if we assume that the universe is 10 billion years old, just for easy calculations, that would be uh, about 10 to the 15 seconds. If you looked through... Uh, the entire code space, it would require you searching through 10 to the 65 codes per second in order to find the genetic code in nature. Now, if we assume there's a trillion organisms searching for 10 billion years for the genetic code in nature, that would still be 10 to the 43 codes per second that had to be evaluated. There is simply not enough resources and time in the universe's history to find this highly optimized genetic code. So for me, the genetic code points to the reality of a creator because we know from common experiences, codes come from minds. That there has to be a mind that conceives of a code, and there has to be a sender and a recipient that agree to use that code to translate information from one format to the other. So the fact that we see a genetic code at all is an indication that there must be a mind behind life. And that we also recognize that this code is exquisitely optimized. Optimization is an indication of exquisite and top-notch design. And then last but not least, we can't explain how the code could evolve through evolutionary mechanisms. When we put it all together, there's really only one conclusion. Life must stem from the work of a mind. If you want to know more about the elegant design of the genetic code and other features of biochemistry that point to a creator, I would invite you to check out two books that I wrote, The Cell's Design and Fit for a Purpose.